I'm getting my tools and materials together so we can crochet ears for our puppy dog. We got lots to cover today, so I'm not messing around. I've got my tools and materials. Now, here's a list of the stitches and techniques that I'll be using in today's tutorial. Now, let's get crocheting. The ears are crocheted by starting at the tip and then working our way towards the top. The last round will be used when we start crocheting the ear into the head. So let's start by putting six single crochets into a magic ring. I like to save as much yarn as possible, so I try not to leave a long tail here. This is round one of 19, so let's keep moving. For round two, we need to put two single crochets in the next stitch. I like to crochet around the tail left by the magic ring. If you pull the tail tightly, it can help to make the tip of the ear a bit more pointy. Then put one single crochet in the next four stitches. You should have one stitch remaining and we'll put two single crochets in there. In the next round, we'll start increasing in the first and last stitch. So put two single crochets in the next stitch. Now single crochet in the next six stitches. And then work two single crochets into that last stitch. You should have a total of 10 stitches in this round. And I'm gonna put a stitch marker in this last one because for this round, we only need to put one single crochet in each stitch. If I don't have this stitch marker, I know I'll lose count and I'll end up with the wrong number of stitches, which can really mess you up. Okay, we made it to round five and it's very similar to what we've been doing. Put two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next eight stitches. We're going to end the round by putting two single crochets into that last stitch. We're going to continue this pattern in a similar way up until we get to round eight. You'll put two single crochets in the first and last stitches and only put one single crochet in the stitches in between. As you begin a new round, pay close attention to where the first stitch is. Sometimes that first stitch can get covered up by the increases previously made. When you're done crocheting round eight, you should have a total of 18 stitches. For round nine, put one single crochet in every stitch. It's a good idea to count your stitches after completing a round. This could save you from having to flog your work and finding out that your stitch count is off. This is round 10 and we're almost done. Work two single crochets into the next two stitches. So you're going to increase twice. Now put one single crochet into the next 14 stitches. And two single crochets in the last two stitches. You should end with a total of 22 stitches. For this next round, put two single crochets in the next stitch and one single crochet into the following 16 stitches. End the round by working two single crochets into that last stitch. You see how the stitch markers are coming in handy? We're going to start shaping the ear with some decreases in the next few rounds. Decrease over the next two stitches and then put one single crochet into the following nine stitches. Increase by working two single crochets into each of the next two stitches. So you're going to increase twice.
Then single crochet in each of the next nine stitches and end the round by decreasing over the last two stitches. In the next five rounds, we'll begin and end the round with the decrease and work one single crochet into the stitches in between. You should have 16 stitches at the end of round 16. We are now at round 17. Decrease over the next two stitches, then put one single crochet into the next four stitches and decrease again. You will repeat that sequence once more and you should end with a total of 12 stitches. There are two rounds remaining and there is no increasing or decreasing. All we're going to do is single crochet into every stitch and we're done. And if you want the ears to move freely, you don't really need to leave a long tail here. If you choose to have the ears sewn down, you're going to need to leave about a 12 inch tail after fastening off. I know at this point, you might be thinking, these things look like South America, but they'll look more like dog ears once we crochet them into the head. After you make the second ear, put both of them together with all the other pieces that we've made so far. I hope you were able to follow along, but leave me a comment if you had any trouble. We'll be crocheting the nose in the next video, and that shouldn't take too long. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and come back for more. Thanks for watching.